I thought the only one that existed. Oh, I just saw the nipples. Ugh. This video was made by Hot Pocket. Please sure to give a like on the original video before watching this reaction. And I'm also taking on a personal challenge. Hot Pocket said that he had hidden many Easter eggs around the video, so I'm sure to try to find them all. As you guys know me, I love to do that. So once again, please be sure to give a like on the original video. And now, let's go. Click. Critters. Player list. Hmm. The animation is already very Eltoro 64. And I do remember the time about uh, Roblox being like that on random maps that you only had the bazooka, the slingshot, the building tool, the delete tool. Unknown says, hey man, check this out. Dude, this new model for the buff engineer quite is truly something, you know. I thought the only one that existed... Oh, I just saw the nipples. Ugh. I just saw the nipples. Dude... I don't know what is up with this model, but I really cannot take my eyes off those nipples. They are very disgusting and huge. Did it just became Mega Mind? Ow, rude. The cat just leaves the lab to eat the burger. I never drink any monster. <laughs> Dude, who's making these uh, buffed models? These are actually scary in a way. Two pigs? This kind of look like the pigs from a uh, Shrek. What are you on about, Angie? Is he gonna eat him? I feel like that's gonna happen. Is your time to to run, spy? And there's the Apos and Scout. <laughs> and now there's two uh, Apos and Scouts in the background. Where's the other NG? Oh, you were shaking too much. And he stole the hat. Stop right there, you piece of fucking shit. <laughs> Drink my last, Mr. Pib. Now I'm gonna fucking kill you. <laughs> Wait, something just yeeted? Oh, there's just too much happening. This is becoming Buddha's engage all over again with the buffed mercenaries just fighting each other with amazing powers. And then once again, what is up with the nipples just hanging out of the the shirt? Right, jackass, here's what's gonna happen. What? <laughs> they made him go to the market or to the store to get one to a replacement. Also, by the way, Angie, nice ass. Oh, there's a teddy bear. Dear engineer, get me some Mr. Pip from the store and some cat food for my little buddy. Disobey and I will well, actually kill you. Cat food is subjective George because your cat was eating a burger earlier. Also, buy me some G.I. Joe toys that I can play with in the bath. Thanks. 
I never had G.I. Joe toys. But for... over already i thought i thought that this was going to be like uh, just the beginning of the video this did not feel like five minutes i think i was just uh, massively uh, distracted by the gigantic mercenaries with nipples hanging out of their shirts wow this completely subverted my expectations i was not expecting this created by hot pockets original soundtrack uh, piss 2000 and uh, phoebe Sound effects guru Fu. Voice talent uh, Bong Ripper Ripper Kyle 3D. Cartographer Diva Dan. Guest Aaron Jared. Hotpocket.com. And that's the video. I didn't expect this. I thought that this was basically going to be a video about uh, building a supercomputer. That's why the buff engine on the, the thumbnail. But no, this is just a, a video that kind of takes a little bit from uh, as uh, not I was about to say SMG4, I don't know why. But uh, that takes a lot from Eltoro64 and brings us to a little bit to a format like Puru's Engage. It's like a mixture of them, just uh, with uh, a little bit more graphic nipples. <laughs> really hot pocket. What was with the nipples hanging out like that? <laughs> Uh, but now let's see how many easter eggs we can find in this i hope that i will not last uh, more than 30 minutes i hope that this does not surpass, surpass 30 minutes of hunting for easter eggs but once again if you guys came this far please sure to give a like to the original video let's continue lower a little bit of volume and uh, just seeing roblox like this just being into a random map that has nothing and uh, he only has like uh, a wall, a sword, a few random items, a bazooka, and a, and a create tool, a brush. Really takes me back in the day that most games were like that in Roblox at the beginning. I've been playing Roblox since, uh, I think, uh, 2011, 2010, if ever, at best. If my memory does not fail me, which it does sometimes. And uh, that was the majority of the servers, just like uh, around 10 people trying to build stuff, but the majority... Of them would just get the big rocket launcher, just blast at anyone to kill them and being uh, assholes. And this actually brings a lot of good memories. You know, top right there's player list, uh, rock, treat, treat you something, I cannot read it. Tools, insert, full screen, help, exit, Roblox over here, he's playing this at 4, 10 p.m. Uh, let's see here, there's the... What was that piece of the group? Piece of crap, you should had. Uh, oh, there are probably other players. No, no, wait, that, that cannot be. There, uh, there's only one player on the map that's himself. Or, or maybe not. He's just a building NPCs. Piece of crap, she had. Uh, bastard, which is a guy that. Uh, oh, they are all under the building in the basement, just playing games. And there he goes to just uh, shoot at everyone really and even this thing right here the sound and the the aiming just having this reload right under it it is just bringing me so much back i feel old watching this and windows live messenger unknown man's unknown says hey man of course he opens the conversation soldier's computer windows media player paint uh, lime warp uh, 4.18.8 desktop destroyer internet explorer a runescape i never played peggle deluxe i never played if there's a game roblox i played windows live messenger i remember this icon then this this really really is paying good homage to the old days crap i do not know where this background comes from for it's like from a game i do not recognize it opens it and says let's see uh hack genius uh email.com 
all of these actually seem on par with the old days of Windows, as well as the the funny nickname that uh, he will just send a virus link that will allow him to steal his things, which later becomes him just uh, stealing soldiers' drink. Check this shit out. Free ringtones.x. You know, I actually at uh, TF2, I once evaded someone stealing all my items because I was too lazy. And the following happened. I used to play in a clan, and I had one of my clan buddies send me a, a, a link that would say, Oh, hey, if you want to get better at uh, this, you should watch this. And I am like, oh, okay, I'll watch it. Passed some time, I did not watch it, I went to do something else. But uh, I did not want to say that uh, that I did not want to watch at the time. I did not want to seem impolite or lazy, which I was being lazy by saying that I did. I was lying about it. And uh, then he asked again, did you watch it? And I said, yeah, I'm watching it. Later that day, I discovered that uh, my buddy was hacked. And that person speaking on through his uh, message to his team was not him. So I avoided being hacked by being lazy. Laziness always wins, kids. Not really. But yeah, let's continue. That's just a funny story to remember. And just the way that everything is so fluid with this. It... It's a little bit uh, unsettling, to be fair. Soldier really looks like someone that spends uh, 20 plus hours on the computer. And I have no idea where he ca where his cats ca come from. I have no idea what is this. Is this, is this the Olong Johnson cat? Free, free ringtones.x and there's this IP. I have no idea what it means. And he found you and he's here to steal your stuff. And once again, what's with the nipples on this? I have no idea what game this is a reference to over here. But I can see over here that there's a keyboard, some Jurati, some pizza boxes, a lot of garbage, another trash can. There's this poster on the top right, which I do not know who, who it belongs to. Soldier Desk, he actually has a gaming chair, a nice, a nice very good one. Some McDonald's, a soda, which is probably empty. Uh, an orange juice box, Doritos. A little Hawaiian uh, doll over here. Gerardi, uh a microscope? Okay, a scientific microscope. There is this over here, which, what is this about? Is it about D&D? Dragonlance is about uh, the, hero, the, the game that was on the PC that I said that I did never played. There's a Garfield here, there's a Bionicle. Hmm, not bad taste. And I think that that's an X Xbox that the Bionicle is on top of. And of course, there is the pib extra that the engineer is gonna steal. I have no idea where the heart comes from, but if you guys know, please let me know. He's just searching to what to steal. And he's actively searching. And uh, the flashlight uh, just being pressed like that comes from Gmod, most likely the place where all of this is being animated from. And uh, it's just the exact same sound, the pip, 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 when you turn on and off the flashlight. Engineer found his target, and the soldier noticed he tried to save it, but no, it's too late. Stealing, stealing his drink right in front of him, just like that. It's just so weird to see the jiggle of everything around that, and soldier is visibly mad. Visibly mad, oh. At least Sorry is happy that they didn't steal his cat, but he feels disrespected. And also, what I thought that uh, at first glance that these two guys would be with the engineer. Maybe they are, maybe they're not, but it didn't truly really felt like that till the end. And of course, the, there's like a key to open the whole thing over here. Let me just... Uh, God damn it, I missed it again. Over here. Maybe Heavy's design on this, since he has a very big head, is uh, a reference to Conehead. Is that the, the name of the old movie where an alien couple come to Earth to Earth to be able to live there and uh, populate there? Let me see. Coneheads. Let me see if that's the movie that I'm thinking about. Coneheads. Oh yeah, it is. Coneheads. Okay. And uh, I I do not know if this key right here is, is just supposed to be there as always, just to show that soldier left it there to anyone to get in, 
or is it just to show that the engineer he got the access key because he, he hacked soldier i don't know heavy and demo and they're just here to deliver the energetic that uh, most likely soldier ordered the burger i do not know if it was intended to also be ordered but it happened is here and uh, i will just call on the unlock johnson cat start to eat the burger just like one soldier later says to buy cat food i think that uh, maybe he sent engineer to also buy burgers i don't know but that burger is actually looking quite delicious I just wish that burgers were like they actually advertise. They advertise burger burgers that are this thick with the meat, but actually become like this. This is terrible. It's horrible. Let's try to see if there's any more Easter eggs around Soldier's Room that I haven't seen. I don't think so. Still the Garfield, the Ritos, the Orange Juice. And just the way that uh, he zooms out, oh, also, I don't think that this curtain and the, the bathtub were here as they are right now. I think this was added later. Just the way that Soldier actually pulls this thing like a lever and then the zoom out, it just makes it shown as, as its actual size. It's so, I, I would say unsettling, but I've just seen so many uh, Dr. Law videos and other, uh, other considerable weird, creepy and funny Gmod animation that uh, this thing is... Kinda, kinda don't affect me anymore, but I really do love point out the the work of camera angle to just put emphasis on uh, the power of something or at the weight of something. It's always cool to see. Smells it? Mm. Is nice. Oh, also the bloom. Uh, that can also be this the spawn sound for many items in gmod but i do not know if they are also in half-life i really don't remember that but that's a spawn sound in the uh, half-life no in half-life no gmod my bad and so we're going through a big transformation i do not know if that uh, respiration him just looking like that a little bit drugs is a reference to something but i kind of feel like it, it is but i cannot be sure wait did the cat ate a burger already oh and i think i paused at the worst possible time look at this Figure that soldier just is transforming to look at his mouth. Too much power. There's a there's a sniper with a gigantic head. And I have no idea who these guys are supposed to resemble. To me, they kind of look a little bit like the pigs from Shrek, the Shrek universe. I can see that there's a Halo 3 poster here. I remember that I used to love play Halo 3 at my cousin's house when I would uh, travel to visit alongside my family. And I was just the little cousin that he would let play on his uh, console, on his uh, PlayStation. I remember that I played the GTA 4, Halo, I remember there was also a Star Wars game. And uh, really, I owned that guy a lot. Because he was nice to me, he was not a douche. And uh, he also inspired me to play so many games that I play today. I saw him play GTA, I got interested in a little bit of GTA. I saw him play Left 4 Dead, I got interested in Left 4 Dead. So yeah, a lot of the games that I enjoy today is because I got inspiration from him. Even Halo, as I just said, I actually started some Halo series a year back, almost two years now. And it was fun, I mean, most of the games. And one day I'm still gonna play the entire series. But uh, I'm doing it bit by bit, just uh, giving a few months at a time to be able to return to the game. It's been a year since I played uh, the first Halo. I'm doing an order in the Anniversary Edition. So yeah, it's just a, a long ride that I'm taking my time to do. But these creatures, they... I don't know if they're supposed to be a reference to something. As I said, they look like the pigs from Shrek. But they also kind of seem like, uh, like, some, like a creature that I've seen in another movie. Uh, I think it was the Diary of Spiderick. Let me see if I can actually find that name. Sp Spiderick. The Chronicles of Sp Spiderwick. Wick. If you guys ever watched that movie, there is a little creature that protects the house where the story takes plot, takes, takes its plot. And it kind of reminds me a little bit like that. Like a, a gorgeous creature, you know? They're just chilling, eating some chicken. There are a few Xbox controllers, which most likely they were playing just now. And the Conquistador fried, ch fried giblets is also from uh, the expiration date.
the 10 most amazing fire trucks in the world i think that that might be a real video no idea still i never watched a video about fire trucks and i do not know if the design of this spy is supposed to be uh due to something no idea and here comes ng oh also what happened there the sniper actually fell from the from the from the building and soon enough there will be a scout showing up here Yes, yeah, bye. At least Spy tries to do the whole thing. The right thing. He tries to hit NG, but uh, no, it's too powerful. And uh, you may not like it, but this right here, right now, the way that it's being portrayed, is the peak male embodiment. You may not like it, but this is the truth. For Spy. And what? A, an animation of Dobby the Elf just uh, dancing something? I did not catch it the first time. I thought it was a random video, but I did not uh, notice it was Dobby. Are these guys supposed to be like Dobby? And uh, there is the Apos and Scout. I do not know if they are changed in their facial expression, but it doesn't seem like that from here. Also, the, the ching and also the little sound engineer makes are both from, uh, from uh, Half-Life uh, Head Crabs and Head Crab Zombies. So, yeah, very easily recognizable sounds. And Engineer right now has the hat. And most specifically, the sound that Engineer makes is uh, the sound from a, a fast zombie, I believe. Poor guy. And now there's two scouts over here. Let me just take the keyboard. Oh, no, it's, I, I totally forgot that this keyboard right now is wired, so I cannot take it to my lap. But I think that from here is going to be okay. He should have run while he could, this little guy. He just should have run. Stop right there, you piece of fucking shit. And to be fair, this voice, the voice actor for this, kind of reminds me a little bit like Moist Critical. I don't know, just the way that the voice goes like this. It really reminds me of when Charlie's going into one of his uh, rants or commentaries. And he really does sound like this. You know, just the way that he starts. And now there's actually three scouts onto the windows. Over here, onto the middle, while soldier approaches. And the Giga Chat soldier. My last, Mr. Pib. And I don't know why, but soldier right now is actually reminding me of the of uh, George or Jordan. I don't remember his correct name, but it's the buff fairy from uh, uh, the fairy odd parents, if you guys know what I mean mixtured a little bit uh, with uh, i think it was clay from atlantis the lost empire i don't know it just seemed a, a mixture with his facial features that really goes with uh, these two characters it really goes with them now i'm gonna fucking kill you also nice green eyes and did the little creature just ran through the right now i'm gonna fucking kill you oh no actually it was a hand that actually grabbed or uh, welcome the scout into his grasp, but a very tiny blue scout. And also, there's a soldier, by the way, and I have a tiny head. And Dob is still playing on the TV. And uh, is this set of movements just match that and then poking it like this? Is this a reference to. Oh, what was the name of it? Uh, Putin's Engage? Because at Putters Engage, I think that there might be the exact same model that Soldier is using right now with the Soldier in the video on Putters Engage Extreme, maybe. And he actually, to, while he's fighting one of the heavies, he's punching the heavy. He actually gives it uh, one of the scissor attacks to the eyes. Is this a reference to that? Engineer tries to fight back. Soldier just comes right back at him and uh, completely destroys him. And maybe right now this can be a uh, small reference to uh, Invincible, I'd say. Invincible, maybe? Just do the fact that the engineer is laying down and the soldier is on top of him like that, just looking down. And even the punch and more, I really think that this might be a reference to Invincible. And transforming into a simpleton in a scooter and a bare naked. Alright, jackass. Here's what's gonna happen. 
You know, at least uh, Soldier was kind of polite enough to give him an under under underwear because Soldier because Engineer was naked. He was bare naked when this started. We got some bread on the shelves, and this market is actually very empty besides bread. And once again, Engineer stick. We got buy one get two free only for five four ninety nine. Uh, a sale on dog food. And there's a little teddy bear on the shelf that we're going to see more closely right there, right to the side of Engineer. Groceries. Dear Engineer, get me some Mr. Pebble from the store and some cat food for my little buddy. Disobey and I will actually kill you. Yours truly, soldier. Dear Engineer, get me some Mr. Pebble from the store and some cat food for my little buddy. Uh, oh, okay. So that I the first time that I saw that, I thought that was a little highlight for the for the from the store. But no, it was the face of the actual cat. And I will actually kill you. Yours truly. Sadly, there's only dog food around, and there's no burgers that the cat the cat would like. And once again, I never played with GI Joes that I can remember. I used to play with uh, small Power Ranger toy figures that you can buy uh, for for a dollar at uh, some some alternative stores, but never GI Joe. Some of my friends had Max's Steels. But I never had any. And there it goes. And once again, the engineer stick. Save for less. And I think that this is the same map for the Left 4 Dead 2 campaign on the, the, the first map. Where you actually need to go through the store and you actually need to uh, get some cola for the guy that is uh, barricaded on uh, his store. So he can blow up the bridge. Yeah, this is a store. And the guy goes, I hate my life. Well, it could have been worse. You started this thing, so you just better go through with it. You deserve that. If you hack someone, you kind of deserve some bad things coming your way. If you're hacking and taking people stuff just for the sake of it, you're not a good person. At least he parked in the right spot. Let's see if we, there was anything more with that, uh, that zoom out. Wait, I think there's something right there very slowly. Is this a heavy with uh, some destroyed things? Let me... No, I, I, I always forget how to do the slow motion on this. Let me try it. One more? No. But there is a heavy weapons guy over here at the side of something burning and uh, maybe a tank or a tiny tank. So I found a heavy. By the way, why is Japan with uh, this weird uh, fluorescent thing over here? Is it is it uh, toxin resin? What is all of this? What is this glowing thing over here? And here comes Soldier with a final fuck you. <laughs> Whew. You know, I I once again I well, I am completely taken by surprise by how this video. Just turned out to be. I thought that this was going to be like a Giga Chad engineer trying to build his P gaming PC. And there is a scout over here on the credits. Let's see if we can find anything more. Mm, so far, nothing that I can see of. Just that the map is actually missing some uh, things. Wait, was that uh, something over there on the left? Let's try to see that a, a little bit slower this time. No, I actually passed that. Damn it. Yeah, I think there was someone on the left. There are some uh, buildings missing here. Or some extra buildings added. And I think there was some he someone here. I will not try to pause because that will be a, a huge pain. But I think there was like a soldier over there. Around here, once again, this weird uh, yellow entity. And there was a message by the end. Type Alexander in the comments. Alex, uh, Alexa D N E R. Okay, let me just uh, to be sh to be fair. Let me take a picture of that, so I do not forget uh, what it is, and I need to actually have all of this going back. So yeah, we did it, and I hope I found all the memes and Easter eggs. So yeah, hot pocket. If you can confirm, if you ever appeared here. Uh, great video, a very surprising video indeed.
And yeah, I actually, I think that I can safely assume that I found all the Easter eggs. But if I missed any, please let me know in the comments if you ever pass through here. Guys, thanks so much for coming. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to give a like to the original video. And you can always support the channel by giving a like and subscribing. And checking my Patreon and my membership if you guys feel like it. I think that by the time I release this video, we'll already be uh, the 30, the 30 of December of uh, 2023. So I hope that you guys have a happy new year. Do not forget to always uh, send some love to the people that you like. Uh, wish all the, 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 the good 2024 to everyone because it always makes a difference, you know? I don't know. I think I'm just uh, basically saying happy 2024. In a high summary, happy 2024. Sorry for taking that long to say it. So I hope to see you guys next time. And until then, bye. See ya. I would also like to give a big thank you to all my patrons. Thank you for supporting the channel.